If the politicians in Kiev wanted to show they were in control, they managed just the opposite effect. They were meant to be debating the situation in the east. Not quite the picture of a stable democracy they might hope to project. In Kharkiv, in the east today, the authorities are back in control. 70 protesters were arrested overnight. Forced out of the government building they were occupying, they were armed with guns and hand grenades. Among them, the interior minister said some very interesting persons. The US says Russian agents have been involved. What we see from Russia is an illegal and illegitimate effort to destabilize a sovereign state and create a contrived crisis with paid operatives uh, across an international boundary. The United States and our allies will not hesitate to use 21st century tools to hold Russia accountable for 19th century behavior. But just as the two sides are increasingly entrenched on the ground, so the international players remain far apart, shoring up their positions all the while. We are deeply convinced that the situation cannot be calmed down if the Ukrainian authorities go on ignoring the interests of the southeastern regions of the country. NATO has issued its strongest warning yet, calling for Russia to pull back, cautioning against a historic mistake. Russia's illegal aggression 